get first in line in the book, yep. in the queue, uh, is the same science of get first in line for that spot to serve the ad. Uh, because right now, obviously, a lot of these ads are served in real time. Nobody knows what's going to pop up because you don't know what the traffic's going to look like, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, a lot of the science that drove uh, Wall Street, NASDAQ, whatever it was, to be completely automated for people to just make trades. And for them to worry about things in microseconds, which is absolutely ridiculous, and now the advertising's worry world about it too. And uh, I, again, I don't think there's the same capacity for menace, uh, but it's very, very interesting. Any other questions? Um, so, so we ended the conversation with uh, Lean startup customer development, does anybody want this, right? And we sort of started, or at least earlier, with Bonin's question, how many client side people are there? And I don't know, I think you were the only client side person in the room, I was that? I did raise my hand, but I was. But you were, you asked the question, yeah. So, so I'm not gonna ask whether anybody wants this, but, but what does it take to get people to want this? Why, why are you the only client side person in the room? I mean, I know we're not gonna get to 100% anytime soon since people are still digesting RTV and, and uh, that, but where does it get to get some people? Uh, so it's Friday, I'm at the end of ad week, it's been really long, so I'm just gonna be pretty frank with you. I think I messed up <laughs> on our side on this one. I should have been very clear inside our organization how important it was for marketers to be here. Um, and uh, we were focused on launching something, and so I don't think we had enough focus. Um, so that's just frank from our side. But um, I, I think it requires a few organizations to step out and be leaders. And to show that there's value, so I'll give you an example. I, I met the love of my life eight years ago at South by Southwest. I was on the agency side, um, and I was trying to sell clients. I said, this is amazing. This is like the Davos of digital. Like, you have to be here. This is a great place. The biggest you know, voices in the entire world are here. Like, you should sponsor this. And I couldn't get one single client. That's when I realized that the problem with clients is that they're all idiots. So I decided to go become a client and become a dumb client at that. Uh, and the first thing I did when I got to PepsiCo is we sponsored South By. And we went really, we were actually the largest sponsor of South By for four years in a row. And the price tag kept going up, unfortunate. But anyway, I think we we're ruining ourselves. But we stepped out and said, put a stake in the ground and said South By matters for organizations like us. And we would fly droves of people out, hundreds of people from PepsiCo out to South By. And guess what? If you go to South By now, it's every single client person is there. They're sponsoring it. Like, this is the place to be. So I think it's going to require more forward-leaning clients. And I, I agree. I, I really think the onus of a lot of industry movement is on clients because at the end of the day, we have the purse strings. So I think it's going to take a lot more forward-leaning clients to say that this stuff matters. We're going to bring our people here and educate them and make sure that